All right. Alvin, meron ako insurance provided ng company ko. I think hindi ko na kailangan kumuha po ng additional life insurance. Yan mga kwentuhan, yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong episode ng video natin for today. Intro muna tayo. Alright, so welcome back mga kwentuhan dito sa channel natin. And if this is your first time in my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell so to get to be notified of all the videos that I upload every week related to fitness and health and financial education. Alright, so yan. So, uh, kwento ang life insurance ulit tayo. Um, one of the questions or sinasabi sa akin um, regarding life insurance is that ayaw nila kumuha ng life insurance kasi meron na daw silang life insurance provided ng company na pinagtatrabawuhan nila. So, yan ang pagkukwentuhan natin. So, uh, biggest question is Kailangan mo nga ba talagang kumuha ng additional life insurance kahit meron ka ng life insurance sa provide ng company? Okay. So, uh, I'll give you two things or two questions that you need to ask yourself kung bakit mo kailangan ng life insurance kahit meron ka ng life insurance sa provide ng company. Okay? So, let's start. So, number one reason na kung bakit kailangan mo pa rin kumuha ng life insurance kahit meron ka ng provide ng company is most of the time, if not all the time, the coverage or life insurance coverage or face amount uh, that the company that you're working for in terms of offering life insurance as benefit to you is not enough as an income protection for your family, especially kung ikaw ay breadwinner. No? So if you would remember in my previous video, and if you haven't watched that video yet, I'll just click the or just click the link above. And I recommend that you watch that video also. No mga kwentuhan, um, sinabi doon that yung life insurance is, an, is equals to income protection. Meaning, if anything happens to you, hopefully wala naman saan. You know, uh, we have to ensure that uh, your family will have an income replacement fund or yung IRF na pinatawag. Ano nga ba yung IRF na yan? So, say for example, um, ikaw, ang breadwinner ng, comp ng, ng company tuloy, <laughs> ikaw ang breadwinner ng family mo, and say you're earning at about, mga summer about mga 30, 40,000 every month, and ayan yung lifestyle na uh, you were able to create for your family for na nasusustain mo month on month. And if in the event, if something happens, yung sad events happen will the money that the family that or your family will get from the company where you're working for right now is that enough to sustain the lifestyle na nabinigay mo for usually at least a minimum of one year enough ba yan siya para mabigay ng coverage that's one question you need to ask yourself okay um IRF. Ano nga ba yung IRF? So yung tinatawag na income replacement fund. So usually, if you wanted to get a life insurance coverage as an income protection, it has to replace yung sweldo mo if in the event happen or yung sad events happen. So kung nag sumasweldo ka for example ng 30,000 uh, per month, so for you to understand and identify or for you to understand kung ano yung income replacement fund dapat na magkano yung kukunin mo na life insurance coverage, is ganito lang yung simple lang yan. I-compute mo lang yung monthly salary mo times 12 and kung ano man yung total niyan, dagdaga mo lang na zero. Kaulihan. And that should be the life insurance coverage na dapat meron ka. Alright? So, if kung yung life insurance na in-offer ng company mo is not enough, Diyan sa IRF fund na yan. Then, I highly recommend that you get an additional life insurance coverage that would sum up to that IRF fund na na-compute mo. Okay? Second, second na reason kung bakit ka kailangan kukuha ng life insurance. Additional, aside from dun sa pinoprovide ng company mo. Yung life insurance coverage 
that you will get from your company is not built for lifetime. Anong ibig ko sabihin dyan? Yung coverage na meron ka na life insurance that is only sustainable until employed ka doon sa company na yun. Intindihan mo? Eh, usually, the average lifespan of a person in the whole world is somewhere about mga 70-80 years old. And I'm very positive that you will not be working until 50 years old. So usually nga, 60 or even less than 60 years old, nagre-retire na tayo, di ba? So what happens after your retirement or what happens if you're not employed anymore? Then you don't have life insurance coverage anymore. Naintindihan mo? So, um, and when that happens, pag nag-retire ka, at wala ka ng life insurance coverage, at sabihin natin na kapag ipon ka ng enough money for you to be able to get a life insurance coverage, usually at that age, somewhere about mga 50, 60 years old, at doon ka palang kukuha ng life insurance coverage, mahirap nang mag-apply. At most of the time, hindi ka na makakapag-apply ng life insurance. Swerte na lang kung healthy ka pa at that age. Pero more often than not, medyo marami na tayo mga sakit during that time. Kasi as we all know, hindi naman natin malalampasan yan. As we grow older, our body becomes weaker, more prone to sickness. Thus, life insurance companies or insurers would think twice and ask for a lot of uh, medical tests before they apply or before they approve your life insurance application. Okay? So yan mga kakawintuan. So yan yung mga two reason kung bakit kailangan mo pa rin kukuha ng life insurance kahit meron ka ng life insurance benefit na pinrovide ng company mo kung saan ka employed today. Alright? So mga kakawintuan, so I hope you did learn something out from this video and if, it, and if you did learn something from this video, please help me share this to your friends and family para marami tayong matulong. Okay? And don't forget to hit that like button also. No? Alright? So hanggang sa susunod natin mga kakwentuhan, ingat kayo palagi. Bye-bye!